I know it's been a while, but I'm here today, and I've got a lot to show you. Um, first of all, I got my second shot today. Feeling pretty good right now. I'm gonna put some air on here. It's a little warm. Okay. Yeah. Went and got my first, my second shot. Second. Um, arms not sore yet. Uh, what else to say? Uh, I'm not a zombie. As my son says, I'm going to be a zombie. I'm not a zombie yet. But anyway, okay, I've got a lot of stuff to show you. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you what I'm working on now. Uh, my current whip. That'll go, I'll, that'll, I'll put that first. This is what I've been working on. It's called... That's it. I'm trying to record, I'm, in, I'm looking face in my window, so this is natural light from outside. I was going to try to record from outside, but it's too noisy. We've got cars going past, airplanes going on. We're not that far from Reagan National Airport, and they do fly over. So, anyway, this is from Arlita Studio. And I got this through uh, 1884 Stitchery. That's McKenna's online shop. And she wanted to do a, what she had said about a, a Arlita Studio April Stitch Along. And when I saw this, well, she announced that she was going to stitch this one. And when I saw it, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, yes, I can stitch that without this border so I'm not sure if she's going to stitch hers with the border or not I'm not sure that's all I'm going to stitch is the inner portion and I started on I think it was the 2nd or the 3rd of April let's see what's today is the 8th so maybe the 4th because I haven't been working on it that long but I've worked on it long enough to get pretty much and yes I've made I made some mistakes in here and I've had to adjust other things because I wasn't taking well it's a mistake in the sickle I think it's his the shaft isn't quite long enough and it was down farther and all that and so I had to adjust some of this up in here to make it fit, but it fits, and there we go. If I hadn't told you, you never would have known, but there you go. I don't know how long I'm going to, how much long I'm going to stitch on that. Um, I do have whip go to stitch for, and that's what I want to show you next is last month's whip down last month's whip go were uh let's see last month oh it, okay was number oh, number 10 and number 24 and my number 10 was did I show you this already no couldn't have well, I showed you, I think I showed you that this is what I was going to work on. I haven't showed you, shown you the uh, finished stitching. And this is Emerald City. And all of the stitching is finished. And that's by Alforst Embroidery. It's a free chart. I think it's still free. I think you can still go to a website. But that was one of my goals was to finish. Alf I mean to finish um, Emerald City. Um, 
my second whip go for last month was uh, to beat and assemble my Fairy Delight Biscorn U. And I finished. It's told it's absolutely complete. FFO'd. I put all the beads on it. I don't know if you can see them. See them a little bit, I guess. And it's a uh, Biscorn U. And there you go. I love it. It's so cute. I was gonna fill it with the uh, the fresh walnut shells but I couldn't figure out how to get them in there without making a mess so I just like stuffed it with some what is it uh, fiber feel and I was sitting here one day and I was looking through looking at some videos and I was just letting kind of like you know scrolling through and I saw these balls And I was like, oh, I can, I love those. And it's, well, from what they, somebody, one of the ladies that I, let me see, what's her name? Um, let me see, I'll tell you in a minute. Her name is, uh, this is Stacy Ann. From the Ornament Girl on YouTube. And Stacy Ann Lowry? I don't know. But this was her YouTube. Um, the Ornament Girl. And I was sitting here and I'm like, okay, I can do that. So I went and bought the balls. It's supposed to be a three inch ball. This isn't quite three inches. And I used her instructions. And I actually made this out of that satin, what is it, satin blanket binding. Because it was already two inches long, you know, wide. Well, I unfolded it and cut, split it down the middle. And that made it two inches. So then I could cut the little pieces of uh, the little rectangles that I needed. And I made this. I love it. And of course, since then, I've went and bought, I've gone and bought uh, an egg shape that I was going to try to do before Easter. Didn't make it. Um, but I got pins and everything. It takes a lot of pins, and this is all pins. There's no sewing. They call it the no sew quilting, quilt ornament. And I love it. I love the way it looks. I just eyeballed the spacing and everything on it. And there you go. So, I learned something new. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else did we get? Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna show, tell you what my whip go projects for the month of April are. Right. Okay, so I showed you Feb uh, March which was the Emerald City and my Biscoe New. Okay, for the month of April, the numbers was 3 and 21. Number 3 is a, a lady named Ella, which is this design is a collaboration between a sketch artist by the that goes by an, uh, Ebony Short is her name and a cross stitch designer by the name of, name of Brittany Church of Ingleside Imaginarium and this is a collaboration of this and I started it uh, it's been a while and I'll just quickly show you where I'm at. What I have. And this is where I'm at. Not much. Now, my goal for this month. Well, I'll show it to you. Let me 
I hold up a little bit longer. Okay, so that's my, that's where I'm at. Now my goal is a thousand stitches. But you know me, I won't probably I'll end up with a lot more than a thousand stitches. Just because when I start stitching on something, like I said, I love all my projects, and when I start stitching on something, I like to, I just, you know, can't make myself put it down that quickly. So, I'm going to show you what progress I have on my next whip go. Now, this is my second whip go project for the month of <clears throat> April, and this was number 21, and this is by Kathy Barrick. And it's this chart. <sighs> Repeat the sound in joy. I love this one. I think it's beautiful. So, that's Repeat the Sound in Joy by Kathy Barrick. If I can remember, I'll put a picture of where I left, where I started it from, where it was, where I had got to last time. If I can remember, but this is where I'm at now. I don't know if the sun is watching. Going through, okay. There we go. This is where I'm at now. Now, um, I stitched the lake, or part of the lake, and all of this black part of his body, the, the swan's body. So, this is where I'm at. My goal was to stitch a thousand stitches, and I think I got more than a thousand in there. I may even work on this again more this month. I've got the whole month. So it's just the eighth. So I've got quite a bit of the month left. So I may go back after I get the thousand in on that one. The other one, a uh, lady named Ella. I may go back and stitch more on these two, on both of them. Just so I can get, you know, more stitching in on my lips. But I set my goals. So they won't be too, uh, I set them where they're not too high, where I can at least meet my goals for the month. Because I like to try to get them done in, during that month, if the, the number is called. I know it's uh, all year, you know, all year stitch along, you have all year to work on them, but I have too many. Okay. Um... One of my other projects, one of my other whips, which is on my whip board, it hasn't been called yet, but, um, hmm. hold on one second, let me see if I can get this out of here without making a, yes, here we go, okay, nope, that's not it. Okay, for the month of March, a stitch name. Abby Bella Stitch goes by Abby Bella Stitch. She has a fake, uh, false tube. And she's on Instagram. This, she wanted to stitch Asia. For the month of March. In honor of the Asian Americans. And in support of Asian Americans who have been mistreated and abused and you know attacked for no other reason than they're Asian I mean you know me being an African American I can understand exactly how they feel you know maybe you know I haven't been attacked physically you know for being black but happens Every, every day. So, in support of Stitch Asia, I chose, yeah, there we go. 
the comparative small red ship of life because the big ship of life it would have taken me a couple lifetimes to stitch it. So for the month of March, I started this on March 1st, and I stitched almost the whole month, and this is where it's at. That's how much I get done, and I'm stitching it on um, 36 count. I'm stitching on 36 count, oh no, 32 count even weave from Fortnite Fabrics. Okay, sorry about that. My phone rang and, okay, anyway, as I was saying, this is stitched on even uh, 32 count even weave Ruth from Fortnite Fabrics and I'm stitching it with I'm stitching it with uh, wine Yes, this is being stitched on 32 count even weave Ruth from Fortnite Fabrics. And I'm stitching it with silks from Almond M&M and this is the color wine. And that's the way it comes. And the little bitty Hank, little skeins. And this is from Eminem, uh, Almond Eminem. And I really like this. I think it's coming out really good. Okay. My lighting, my sun is going, my natural lighting. So let me get this done because the sun is starting to shift. Okay, another project I stitched on um, in honor of Stitch Asia was my henna cat, and it's from Soda Stitch. And this is on 24 count opal essence. Oh, I can't think of what it's on because it's finished. This is one of my um, Whip Go projects, and like I said, I wanted to work on something else for Stitch Asia. The the red was kind of like okay, that's enough red. So let me see. I can find. Of course, I can't find it because I'm looking for it. I think I put all of that. I put it all up. Oh no, here we go. It's stitched on twenty-two. I mean, twenty-eight count Lugana Fairland Opal Essences from Silk Weaver, and it's from Swigert. And I finished it on March 30th. And this is Henna Cat. Okay. So, those are all my Whipwell projects. And let's see. My Whipco. So, you know what I'm t you, you know what I'll be stitching on this month and what I've done so far this month okay so let's see what else do I have to show you
Um, uh, I've got some some haul and a gift. Okay, this was just so you know. I purchased the Dreaming Girl Autumn from Barbara Anna and that was through Creative Poppy. But I've, I've, I've got all the parts to this now. So I've got that. Don't know when I'm going to start it. But I get it. This is, uh, this was a gift from Victoria. I love this little thing. It is so cute. Can you see? Oh, there we go. Get rid of the glare. Okay, that. And let it snow. From Silver Creek Samplers. She knows I love Silver Creek Samplers. So, there you go. Thank you, Victoria. Sorry about that. Phone rang again. I don't know where I was at. Anyway, this was a gift from Victoria, along with Silver Creek Samplers, Let It Snow. So thank you, Victoria. I really appreciate that. Um, I purchased some, well, I purchased extra of uh, the wine color from Almond m, &M uh, her, her silks, and I, I bought a couple extra of the wine just so I make sure I have enough for uh, uh, the ship, Red Ship of Life. And while I was there, I had to, I had to buy some more. So I got this one. It's flamingo. This one is moss boss. It's beautiful, I like that. This one is gingerbread. And last but not least, this is clouds. Love that blue. Okay. Alright, so those are my losses. I received, these are the fabrics of the month. This is Agnes from Fortnite Fabrics. It's a pretty green. Well, not green. Well, it has green ish colors in it. And this is the subtle sampler. So to me, it looks greenish. It has a little bit of green. But I like that. I got my Under, sea, under the Sea Fabrics. This is Terra from, from Under the Sea Fabrics. As you can see, it's a big piece of fabric. And I've got the 32 count. Both of these are 32 count. I changed my 28 count and I went up to 32 since 32 wasn't too bad on my eyes. So, that's not too bad. Okay, I had thought about uh, doing, I've had an idea of, of what I wanted to make into a, a cross stitch chart. And my last program for PC stitch was so old. I don't think it had half the colors, the DMC colors. This one has all the new DMC colors and everything in it, so. Um, I get this. I haven't down, I haven't put it on my computer yet, and I haven't started anything. But it was just an idea, and I said, well, in case I wanted to pursue that, that idea, I'd, ha I'd be ready. Um, I got some, some haul from... Um, was it market? Well, with ex the the expo, and I ordered mine through uh, Garon Stitchery, and they get to me quick, and I've just been holding on to them. 
I haven't kitted anything up, I haven't gotten anything ready yet. But who knows what tomorrow brings. Anyway, let's start off. I got Silver Creek Sampler, I got Reaping Love. I get Wicked Wicked Stitcher Society. I've got Butter Believe It. I thought that was cute. And from Keslin's, I've got a hunting we go. A hunting we will go. Okay. And this is from October House Fiber Arts, and it made me think about the um, Cross-Stitch Nation. This is Floss Tube Friends, and I just love it. I love the fact that they already design with different skin colors, so thank you. October House Fiber Arts. Thank you. I made some purchases from, uh, well, along with the uh, Arilita Studios uh, piece I bought from 1884. I saw this one, I, I liked it. It's a Creative Concepts Unlimited Incorporated that uh, I cannot find these people. I don't care how hard I look that I can't find this this company. But this is, is Masai, Masai Bride. It's a... Uh, I like that. So I get that one. And I also get uh, McKenna's, this is her own design, Peacock Duo, 1884. I like that. So I got that one. Now, I can't remember. I didn't write down her name. I forget. I'm so sorry I forget the name. If I can find it out, figure out who it is, I'll... I'll, I'll write it somewhere on the screen but I was looking at her I was looking through Instagram and I saw her stitching this and I had to find it and it's just called ethnic dancer it's cross it's from cross stitch obsession from Etsy and while I was there I couldn't help it. I had to get this ethnic dancer that is gorgeous. And I had an ethnic woman. Oh, this one is. Isn't that gorgeous? That is fantastic. I love this one. I love it. Okay, so. I had to make that purchase. Then, of course, Philanthrop Broideries, where I've done Natural Beauty 1, and I've started Natural Beauty 2. No, yes, 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 yes. I did 3 and 2, and this is Natural Beauty 1. So now I have this one. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And today I was looking through Instagram and of course I didn't write her name down but I stole somebody else's idea. She was stitching on this. It's called Queen and it's from Across the Stitch. So while I was there I saw the king. Can't have a queen without a king. Well, yes, you can, but I don't want to have a king without a, I mean, a queen without a king. So, I get the king. So, there you go. That is my haul. And, 
think that's about it. Oh. Uh, Letitia. Letitia was sent some beautiful scissors as a joke. Since how she keeps finding scissors in her uh, project bags. And somebody had sent her a pair of these. Let me show you the packaging. And I bought two pairs. I bought these. They look like wings. And this pair. I didn't have any fancy scissors. So, now I do. And yeah, that's, that is just about it. So, I think I've said everything, and I just want to tell everyone, I will still be wearing my mask for as long as I feel say, uh, feel like that it's necessary. Um, I have taken my second shot today, so in two weeks I will be fully protected as far as the vaccines go. Um, I still will be wearing my mask. I will be going, I'm planning on going to StitchCon in June. I have reservations to go to New Jersey. I have another um, retreat in near Hershey, Pennsylvania. So, there are, I have plans for this year. My husband has cruises planned. Um, I have a trip. We're planning to go visit my son and daughter-in-law and all of my beautiful grandbabies and great-grandbabies. So, I am, I'm just, I'm getting excited about life. My husband has finally retired, so he's fully retired. And we can enjoy as best we can each other. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Even with all the, the pausing and cuts and clips. But anyway, I'm just mumbling. I... I guess I'll just go and make some more X's. So until we see each other again.